welcome everybody to the second video on Unity VRChat world building. Uh, today we're going to go over some um, some fundamentals, uh, setting up the SDK some more um, before we import uh, other packages that you may ne need for your project. Okay, so last time we imported the SDK three from VRChat. And now we just have a camera and directional light. And I'm going to go over some of the uh, windows here in a minute. But before we get started on that, um, in order to upload VRChat Worlds, you have to have a new user rank. And VRChat is, uh, they have their own rank system where you start out as a visitor and then you become a new user and then user trusted so forth. So when you get to a new user rank, then you're able to upload worlds to VRChat. Uh, to get a new user rank, just uh, spend time in VRChat, make friends, and your rank will increase eventually. So once you become a new user, then you can upload worlds to VRChat. All right, so if you do have a VRChat account already, that's great. Uh, if you have a Steam or Oculus, you'll need to convert over to a VRChat only uh, login, and you can do that by going to the VRChat uh, website and looking at the creator documentation like we did in the first video. Um, it should uh, explain to you how to convert your Steam or Oculus account over to a VRChat account. So once you've got your VR chat account set up, uh, you've got a new user rank, and you're ready to upload worlds. Okay, we're in Unity. I'm going to go over the different windows here that you'll see, and these windows are adjustable. Um, the first window is the hierarchy. Now this window here will show all your objects that are in your scene. This right here is your scene view. This is where you're going to be building your world and you'll see it progress as uh, you add more stuff to it. The inspector tab over here, if you click on an object, let's click on main camera. The inspector tab will display everything about that object. All right, uh, where the position is, rotation, scale, in your world. The directional light is your light source. It'll give you all the information on directional light, which we'll go over in a later video. We're, right now, we're just getting familiar with the, uh, the different windows in Unity. Now, as I said, you can adjust these windows. You can move them however you want to. You click your left mouse button, and you can hold it. You can drag it down to any way you want. Um, you can drag your inspector tab to a different area. Uh, if you want to go back to the default layout, I found the default layout is the easiest one. Go back up here to the top right where it says default. And you'll go down. See, you can change it to different ones. You can go by 2x3, uh, 4 split. But the easiest one that I found is the default. So select default and it'll put your screen back to the default screen. So you've got your hierarchy where all your objects are in your scene, your scene view, your inspector view, which tells you about the object. Down here is your project folder list. These are all your assets, uh, materials, everything else. This is your project view where you can see the different folders in each main folder. And then and we'll go over these uh, in more detail later on. Uh, right now we're just concerned about getting the SDK set up fully so you can start working. So in order to continue setting up the VRChat SDK, you'll go to the VRChat SDK tab up here at the top. Click that. You'll go down to Show Control Panel. Now here it's going to have four tabs authentication builder content manager settings make in the authentication this is where your account information is put in now I've already signed in but you'll have a blank one here where you put your user ID password okay and then you're gonna hit the login button or the 
you're going to hit the sign in button, I'm sorry. And once you do that, if you've met all the requirements, new user rank, um, and you've got a VR chat account, it will say allowed to publish worlds, allowed to publish avatars. All right, so you're set up on that. Then you can click the Builder tab. Now it says a VR scene descriptor is required to build a world. What I'm going to do is show you how to put a VR scene descriptor into this world. The first thing you want to do is you got to have something to stand on. So either a plane, which is like a floor, or you can put a terrain in here for land that you can develop later on. And we'll go over terrain later, all that. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create something to stand on in here in this world. So we're going to go up here to Game Object, right up here, and we're going to go down to 3D Object, over to Plane. It's going to put a plane right in the middle of our scene here. This is something we're going to stand on so we can be in our world and not fall through the floor. Uh, so anyway, once you get the plane in there, what I like to do is it sets the position here. Um, go ahead and click these three little buttons over here on the right and hit reset. That will reset the plane back to a XYZ axis of 000. Okay? Now if you click on your camera, you'll see a put a camera preview here, it'll show our plane. That's where we're going to be standing on. So the next thing to do is we need a VR scene descriptor. VR scene descriptor is where you're going to spawn in at. The easiest way to do that, I've seen other YouTube videos and they have you create objects and this, there, there's a much easier way to do it. Simply go down to the project window. You'll see this little bitty magnifying glass. Put your mouse in there, your cursor, type in VRCW. That stands for VRC World. This is what you're spawning. Don't choose this one, choose the solid blue cube. You're going to hold your left mouse button, highlight it, and drag it into your hierarchy. I easily put it you know, right below the camera. And what that's going to do is put a spawn in point on here automatically. VRC World is your spawn in point. So once you've got your VRC World in the hierarchy, this is your spawn point, then you can go ahead and set up the rest of your VRChat SDK control panel information. Now, we already did the authentication, we already signed in. If you hit the Builder tab, it's going to come up with these messages. Set up layers for VR chat. Go ahead and click on that. Just click do it. Okay, then you're going to set the collision matrix. You're going to click on that. Select do it. Now it'll say unpublished VR chat world because you haven't published it yet. You haven't uploaded it to VR chat. So once you set up all the collision matrix and the layers, um, you'll get this screen here and you're all ready to upload. So we'll talk about uploading on another video, but for right now, I just wanted to get you all set up. Uh, if you click Content Manager, it'll show you, if you do have worlds already created, it'll give you a list of the worlds. Okay, now that we've got the VRC world in here, which is our spawn in point, um, our plane looks a little blank here. I mean, we need to color it. Uh, so what you can do is you can click on the plane. It'll highlight it here in your hierarchy. Uh, right now, if you look over here, it says default material on the right-hand side. This right here, we can change that. Now, you can change the material from here if you click on this button it'll bring up a list of material that you have imported already. Now, you can import additional, you can make your own material, but for right now, we're just going to make this, um, let's find something here, we're going to make it green. So 
So double click on that, now our plane is green. Another way to do that, and if you do make a mistake in Unity, you can always go up to your tool tab up here and click on edit, and then click undo. And it'll undo the last thing you did. Uh, so we want to color it a different way. Let's go ahead and right down here in your project folder window, you'll see all materials. Click on that. It'll bring up materials that you can use. And you select one, and you can hold down the left mouse button to highlight it. Drag it over here to your object and release the left mouse button. And it'll color this green or whatever color you want to do. Um, so now we have a green plane, we have our spawn in point. If you press the game tab up here, it will give you a three dimensional view of what it looks like. Scene view is where you're working, game view is what you're going to see in the game. And we'll go over asset store later on. So once we've got our plane is colored, we got the spawn in point, make sure VRC world is highlighted, come over here to the right in your inspector tab, you'll see reference camera. Right now it says none game object. You want to select your main camera. Go ahead and click on that and then you'll see a list here and you want to click main camera. Alright, so now the main camera shows up in your as your reference camera, point of reference. So once you've got your main camera selected as a reference camera, the other thing uh, you might think about is, uh, okay, uh, I want to walk. I want to walk at a certain speed. I want to jump at a certain speed. Um, if you're in, click on your VRC world, which we're in right now. If you scroll down to where it says Udon Behavior Script, go down here to Program Source. Right now it'll say None. You can click on that, and it'll bring up this list here. Select Program Source. All the way down at the bottom, you'll see VRC World Settings. Double-click that twice. It'll put the Program Source VRC World Settings down here. That will give you the public variables for jump, walk speed, run, strafe speed means side to side, you can increase these so if you want a bigger jump you can make it whatever five nine you can jump higher in the world uh, walk speed increase that so you can walk faster and so forth all right so we'll go ahead and undo it click undo we're back to the regular so that will allow you to change your walk jump run so forth uh, if you do put the SAC flight system in uh, later on for a flight world, the, once you put the SAC flight system in, it'll override these public variables and you'll be able to fly like you do in test pilots. So we've got the VRC world, the plane, the directional light, main camera, all in our scene. Uh, this is just to get you started, get you an idea of uh, the spawn in location, the different windows here in Unity. Uh, we're going to go over a lot more detail in upcoming videos, uh, but for right now, this will get you started. Uh, we're going to import more packages. Uh, if you guys uh, want to do the SAC flight system and create a flight world, I'll show you how to put that in your project. Uh, Udon Sharp is another one, so we'll go over all that in the next video. But this video was just to get you familiar with Unity a little bit, uh, creating a plane for you to stand on, a spawn point in the VRC world. And I think that's about it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll dive into more detail on the next one. We're trying to get all this preliminary stuff out of the way, and then we'll go into uh, how to create terrain and, and uh, mirrors, put a mirror in your world and triggers and so forth. So we will see you on the next video. Uh, any questions, leave it in the comment below. I'll leave uh, some links in there as well. Um, enjoy. We'll see you on the next one.